Hey there friends, in this video series, you're going to learn how to integrate a web API with your Thunkable X app. Well, hey there friend, my name is Darren and I host or I started the Thunkable X YouTube channel to show you how you can make awesome apps for your iPhone or Android device without writing a single line of code. It's all drag and drop with the power of Thunkable X. And in this video series that we're starting, we're going over a API or a web API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Basically, what that means is it allows your application to talk to another application and allow data and other things to kind of communicate back and forth. So an API is a way that two applications can talk to each other. Now, uh, why, why the series? Why am I going over the API? Well, it was actually requested by a Thunkable X subscriber and I had never done anything with an API before. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for myself to learn and then I could also show you how I did it. Now, if you are looking for an API to integrate with your app, I found a really cool website, um, or actually it's a, a kind of a database where this guy has um, tracked a bunch of public APIs that you can use. I'll have this link down in the description. It's just a repository on GitHub. Um, but down below here, if you scroll down, there's an index of all kinds of APIs that you can use. And so how I found mine was I went to food and drink here and I just kind of searched through these and I eventually decided on this one. This one stuck out to me, Open Brewery, B, Brewer, <laughs> Open Brewery DB. And so that's actually the API that we're going to be using for this project. And so yeah, we'll get into this a little bit more in the next video, but here's the API that we'll be using for this video series. So what can you expect to learn in this series? Well, we're obviously going to be talking about an API. So we're gonna learn how to kind of read in data into our app, uh, calling an API service. We're gonna learn how to dynamically kind of search that API based on user entry. And then a few other things that I'm excited to share are um, actually showing a location on the map. So we're gonna grab the latitude and longitude from the API to show a location on a map. And then another thing I'm throwing in there is the drawer navigation. So we're gonna use some drawer navigation to kind of move around the app. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app that we're gonna be making in this series. So the app is called Brewbase. Welcome to Brewbrace. This is a search engine to help you find microbreweries. So we can start a search. So here we are presented with a list of states. I can select any of those states and then I'm presented with a list of breweries. And so what that did right then was it took the state that I selected, called the API and then returned all the breweries for that state. So we can select one. And then once it's selected, we show some information about it. So we have the name, we have their website, their location. We can use the map to kind of look around on their location, click on it to grab the street address. And then we can also um, click that URL to hit the URL. So here we have um, their website. We can go back, we can um, select another brewery if we'd like, or we can start a new search and I actually have the drawer navigation hooked up here um, for a few of these, so I can kind of toggle between those screens. And so yeah, a few features. Um, really the core of the app is the API, so we're gonna be focusing on that a lot, but a few other tweaks here and there can really take your app to the next level. So I'm excited to share this with you in this series. Now again, this is the introduction to the series. Uh, the series will consist of uh, four videos following this at this point when we are releasing it, so be sure to check out and be looking for those videos as they come out over the next few weeks. And to accompany you through this series, I've actually created a downloadable cheat sheet that shows you all of the components that I'm using and the exact blocks that we'll be using in the app. So if you ever uh, get lost or confused or you wanna look ahead, download uh, this cheat sheet. Let's look at it real quick. So basically for each screen, I have a, a title page, I have a page that shows the design. So we have all the components that we're using and then how it will look um, inside of the app. 
and then following that, I have a list of all the blocks that are behind that screen. So this is just a quick reference guide that I wanted to provide to you for free. I'm just gonna help you along through this series. So yeah, all of the links that I mentioned uh, today in this video are down in the description. And I uh, hope you are excited for this. If you are, let me know down in the comments below. And until the next video, happy coding.